Thank you very much. Everyone, please move out the doors. Let them begin the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's lower these. To ensure that each we reach the historical underserved communities. Historically, and there's a lot of underserved communities. As a matter of fact, when they, my work on trying to move on the environment and global warming, there's a lot of fence line communities that uh, we're cleaning up, but. That's why I committed to 40% of all the savings are going to go to those communities. Uh, John, um, in the past couple of weeks, the president has lied about being at ground zero the day after the September 11th attacks, falsely claimed he saw the Pittsburgh Bridge collapse, uh, claimed his grandfather died in the hospital days before his birth. What is going on with the president? Is he just believing things that didn't happen did happen, or is he just randomly making stuff up? The president uh, was deeply touched and honored to be able to spend 9-11 with uh, military members there in Alaska and some families, uh, and uh, was, uh, was, was honored by their presence and the chance to make an um, important set of remarks about why we need to continue to remember that day, um, and he did that. Um, and he spoke about uh, a visit to Ground Zero, which he did participate in, um, uh, about a week or so after uh, the, the event. Um, and what that looked and what that smelled and what like, like well, he's had a string of saying things that happened didn't have things that are easily debunked why does he keep doing that the president was grateful to spend that time with those family members and those troops uh, has the speech tomorrow he's going to Maryland why is he going to Maryland the blue state instead of maybe a red state uh, to talk about his economic policies going to do tomorrow on Bidenomics. You've heard us talk about Bidenomics and how we believe has turned uh, the economy around and just not from us, but from the data that we certainly have seen. Well, I'll say this. The president, it doesn't matter where the president decides to give a speech, right? For him, it, um, and, uh, you know, whether it's in Maryland, whether it's in a red state, uh, the, uh, you know, in this case, location is not doesn't matter. He wants to give a, a really important speech, a major speech, as you heard us coin it, on Bionomics. On impeachment, um, <clears throat> does the president or the White House more broadly plan to comply with requests for information from House Republicans as part of the impeachment inquiry? Well, I, I, I've stated a couple of times uh, just in the past few minutes that any any specifics, inquiries, or anything like that, that is something that my account, uh, that the council, my, my, uh, the, my colleagues at the White House Council certainly. You suggested that there's no evidence to back up the Republicans. Which is true. Here. I'm um, not suggesting it. That's actually a fact. If they are seeking information. <clears throat> again, that is something that the White House Council is going to deal with. And it's not a suggestion. It's actually an actual fact. When you have uh, Republicans saying that there is no, uh, no evidence 